Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Ryland Lindley or with Phil Dill Boats and today we are using a 2021 Bennington 22 LSB and we're going to be going over how to properly launch your pontoon boat at the boat ramp. And so the very first thing we're going to do is take off your transom straps. So we already have the transom straps off and we've loaded our gear into the boat and that is all we've done so far. There's no drain plug on a pontoon boat so you do not have to worry about that. Um, and if you look the trailer position, so we backed this boat into the water. Um, a good way to do it is just to leave an inch or two of that wheel well still out of the water. That's gonna allow enough depth to where we can get the water intakes for the motor into the water, but it's not too deep to where whenever I start the motor, this boat isn't going to be trying to float away. It's sturdy on the trailer for now, right? So let's go ahead and get into the boat. And the very first thing we're gonna do is turn on the battery switch. Bennington swing back model. The battery switch is always going to be back in this corner seat. In this boat we have the dual batteries with the dual perco switch set up, right? So you have the ability to have just completely off. There's not going to be any power being drawn from those batteries. You can have it to one battery, the second battery, or you can run both batteries at the same time. A good way to do this guys is called the calendar method. And so for whatever day of the month it is, if it's the first, the second, or the third, if it's an odd day of the month, go ahead and have it on battery one. If it's an even day of the month, go ahead and have it on battery two. That way you're kind of going through, you're using both batteries. And that way, if you accidentally drain one battery all the way down, you have the other battery to go ahead and get your motor cranked back up. You have the one plus two right here. The only time you should ever be using the one plus two is if you do not have enough power in both batteries and you wanna try and parallel those together and get enough juice combined to go ahead and crank that motor up. So right now, we're just gonna leave it on battery one and go ahead and continue with the process. So now that my battery switch is on, I have power to the boat. And if you can see right there, guys, in front of that propeller is that little black slit. That's going to be your water intake. So on an outboard motor, you are never going to start it unless those intakes are in the water. And that little flat piece above the propeller is what's called your cavitation plate. I usually get the motor deep into the water where that cavitation plate is right on the surface. That way I don't want to lower the trim all the way down because we are at the boat ramp and it is pretty shallow right here. So I don't want to get that to where it's going to hit the skeg or damage the propeller. So you do have a trim switch on the side of your outboard and you'll also have one on your throttle body. But for the video purposes, I'm going to use this trim switch and we're going to go ahead and lower that outboard down. So just like I said, that cavitation plate's right on the surface. My intakes are for sure in the water, so we are good to go. So coming back up to the helm seat. This does have the tilt steering. So a few things that you're gonna need to check on before you actually start the boat. First thing is you need to make sure that this throttle body is in neutral. The motor is never going to start if this is in forward or reverse. The throttle body has to be in neutral. Another thing is going to be your kill switch. So I'm going to take the key out and show you your kill switch right here. So if that ever pulls out, that is made to kill your motor. You know, for an existing, you know, example, if you were running the boat, you throw yourself out of the boat, that kill in your pulls, it's going to kill your motor so your boat isn't going straight without anybody in it, right? Um, it is a law now that you do need to have this connected to some part of your body at all times. And so just kind of be aware of that when y'all are out boating, guys. So really easy to put back in. It just has this little clip and that just easily pokes right back in. So that's installed. Go ahead and put my key in. Find the right spot. Go ahead and turn my accessory switch on in neutral. I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and crank it up. All right, so that sounded good. We've got power to the boat. A good way to tell if your motor's running properly is it has this spot where the water leaks out. So that water's coming through that intake. It's cycling through the motor, cooling it down. It's coming out the side. So we've got good water flow coming out of the motor. Another good thing to check too is to make sure you have steering. Don't launch off the trailer and realize you don't have any steering, right? So we're gonna go ahead and give it a few twists. We're looking really good right there. So now that I have power to the boat, motor's on, now I'm gonna go ahead and undo the bow strap. All 
All right, guys, now that we have the motor on, the bow strap is off, we're completely loose off the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in reverse, just like that, and let it idle. So now that I have it in reverse, I'm actually gonna have my driver back up the trailer and I'm gonna float this boat off so that way I'm not using a bunch of power and really trying to force this off. It's gonna be a very smooth process. So I'm gonna honk the horn, let him know we're ready. So he's gonna go ahead and float me off. And like I said, just nice and easy. Never get into a rush, guys. All right. And just like that, we have successfully gone off the trailer. Now on my depth finder, it's showing that we're in six feet of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that trim all the way down. And we're looking good to go. And so guys, I hope this was a helpful video. If you'll have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at rlindley at fieldillboats.com. Um, thank you so much for watching and we look forward to it next time. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Thank you guys.